Where is it? Where is it? Show me the car. There it is. Hello everyone and welcome to the 2018 Honda Odyssey in Forza 7. I'm so happy. I am so happy. Ever since I've actually seen the car list for this car pack that was just released, uh, I wanted to play with this so badly. Honda Odyssey, let's go. I have this car. Let's get in it and let's completely modify this thing. So what I'm going to do here with this car is I'm going to turn it into a race car. Full on racing monster hopefully um we'll see uh but anyway <laughs> let's just have a look and see what we can do to this visually first of all as well probably not much but the force of bits and pieces i'm definitely gonna add on to it uh probably not the wing actually we'll see what sort of wing can we add out of this um yeah why not let's just do it let's do it um i'm gonna go ahead and pretty much fully upgrade this thing full on race everything i want to see what this car is actually going to be like. I'm going to actually take this thing out on the Nürburgring and drive it. So it's going to be pretty mental. Anyway. So, 285s. Really damn wide. It's got 280 horsepower for now. Which I will end up changing. Uh, what is it? Is it rear-wheel drive? Is it all-wheel drive? It's front-wheel drive. That makes it even more interesting. It's a front-wheel drive on the other Yes! I'm so happy. I'm so happy that this guy is now in the game. I honestly don't really care what wheels I'm going to put on this thing. Um... Sure, I'll put these on. I, again, like I said, I don't really care. Uh, I might even keep it the color that it is now. Um, I will change the size to make them slightly, slightly bigger. So they're 20 inch now. Instead of, what, the 19s that they were before. I, I, I want to lower this now. I think the nice thing is, is lowering. I'm going to do it now. I just want to see what it looks like. That looks mad. That looks mad. I think it's going to go even lower as well. I'm gonna mess with that. All right. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna buy everything, and then once we get to the engine parts, I'll uh, I'll have a look and see what we can change there. All right. Let's go to conversion. What can we do? We can engine swap this thing. First of all, we can put a six. We can put a supercharged six point two liter V eight in this thing. I don't know what engine this is from, but we're gonna put it on. I think. I don't know how this is also going to work on a front wheel drive though. Well, let's put it on. Oh my god! And then we could change the drive shade to rear wheel drive. Or all-wheel drive. I think we're going rear. I think we're putting the power to the rear. So, wait. The 6.2 liter is... Uh, what engine is this? It makes 707 horsepower, which makes me think it's the... Uh, it's a Challenger engine. It's a Hellcat engine. Right? Right? I don't know. That, that's, that's what it makes me think of, right? Anyway. So, since we changed that, actually, I think I need to buy new parts for um, transmission and all that stuff. So, let's just do that. By race parts. This is also turn into a rear-wheel drive. We'll do that. I don't know again how this is going to handle. 707 horsepower going to the rear wheels is going to be absolutely insane. Should I just keep it as all-wheel drive though? Or should I just change it to, to all-wheel drive? I mean, it's it's a pretty fast car, so 700 horsepower just going to the rear wheels is pretty intense. So I think all-wheel drive uh, would probably be better. I'm just like throwing money away right now, which I understand, but I don't really care to be completely honest. Um, so I guess everything needs to change again. And I need to spend even more money again. I legit just like threw away so much money for no reason right now. But it doesn't matter. All wheel drive, 700 horsepower. I think we, I think we can like max this thing out. I just want to see what it's like when it's maxed out. So let's have a look. Engine parts. We can still change some more stuff. 719 horsepower. This is supercharged. Uh, I can't change it to anything else. It has to say as a supercharged. What a supercharger. I can't turbo it. Let's have a look. 770 horsepower. It's still going up. It's a Nest class. That's pretty mad. 837 horsepower. Keep it going. 852. This is mad. I'm taking this out in the ring. As soon as I finish this, this is going out on the number ring. And we're going to see how fast this car actually is. 898. Did I just skip one? I didn't. Supercharger upgrade. Another 106. It's a thousand horsepower. It's a thousand horsepower. This thing has 1,000 horsepower. Can we get it to 1,100? I think we might be able to. This is insane. And then this is already equipped. I changed the flywheel. 1,047 horsepower. All-wheel drive Honda Odyssey. What? Um, I'm just going to have a look at my gears. Because obviously for the Nürburgring, I don't really need a lot of top speed for some of the corners, right? Um... So 200 miles, 201 miles per hour. Let's change it so it's, my gears are a little bit longer, because I know that this will skid a lot. If I so 222. I'll, I'll stay. I'll stick with 222 for now. I'm not gonna change anything else. I'm gonna leave everything the way it is for now, just to see what it drives like and uh, 
just with just just with the race parts on it pretty much so we'll see what that's like anyway let's hop into a uh, single player session a little bit of free play and i'll hop on the number ring and let's try this thing all right we're on the road Schleifel. let's see what this car is actually like i also added a few driver tires in as well are they gonna be in front of me or behind me am i am i like just gonna be oh uh, i'm in front damn i actually kind of want to let these guys pass i'm gonna do that all right go past go past go 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 come on just causing a pile up here. We're racing against a limo. Look at the guys I'm racing against right now. Just go, Jesus. Oh my God, boss. All right, last bit. What is? Why did they put that thing against me? These guys, I think, are on like either pro or expert. Oh my God, it's so fast. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Didn't mean that. It's so fast. Look how fast this thing is. That is insane. These guys are supposed to be... On like expert or pro or whatever. I decided to leave them on. Oh, hello. Goodbye, man. Sorry about that. Bit of off road. It's all good. Let's get back on. It's so fast. Ooh, bye, beetle. Oh, brake, 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 brake. Oh, brakes are really good. It feels so heavy. It feels so heavy in these tires. I'll play from the from third person in a second, but... Oh my god, it just leans. Okay, careful here. Let's go too fast. It just starts to oversteer so quickly. Just because it leans so much. Alright, there we go. Oh, brake. A bit of handbrake. To correct that back end. Okay. Oh, careful, careful. Oh, sorry, I'm out. I'm gonna go past you. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, brake hard. Brake, brake, brake. Oh, there's a lean. There it goes. Because it's so heavy, and once it leans on the tires, they just, like, start to slip. Really, really easily, so... I gotta be super careful. Look at this thing! It's so quick. Oh god, I'm not paying attention. Uh, I hate driving from third person. Unless I'm like drifting. I hate racing from third person. Now I know I have the braking line on. Don't look for me, right? I'm a terrible driver. I need it. I don't really need it, especially on the ring. The ring I kind of know off my heart, but like, especially for cars I've never driven before. I'm sorry, Van. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to pass you. I, was, I saved that. Oh, let's just go. Let's go. Oh, a bit too fast. <laughs> oh, God. That doesn't help. All right, let's change view. Back to this. I need to catch up to these guys. I really need to catch up to these guys. Oh my god, this thing is insane. I'm gonna guess this is a Hellcat engine. Or the Challenger engine, whatever. It sounds just like it as well. A mad supercharger one. It sounds great. It sounds great. 1,000 horsepower Honda Odyssey, all-wheel drive Honda Odyssey, as well. Slow it down, slow it down, slow it down. Oh, it just pulls me off the road. Oh, my God. It's so hard to... It's so hard to get control of it. Once it's gone off the actual track. Oh god, careful. I don't know how well you guys can see how wobbly it actually gets. Trying to drive this thing. It's... It's mad. Because I have to like get it to oversteer a little bit sometimes. To be able to take a corner. Goodbye, Chrysler. Oh, brake hard. Brake, 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 brake. Oh, way too fast. You know what? Let's just rewind. Alright. Let's cheat. 
Let's cheat. If I can't succeed in racing properly, let's just cheat. Alright. Let's slam the brakes a little bit earlier. Especially driving a car like this for the very first time, I think I kind of need the braking line. Or I would legit just ruin every corner. Man, it shoots out of the corner so quickly, it's insane. Here comes one of my favorite parts of the track, right here. Literally all second and third gear corners here, depending on pretty much what your gear setup is. Mostly just second and third gear corners here. A bit of all-wheel drifting here, come on. Held it on. Nicely. Oh god. Whatever that car is very far ahead. Stay in there. I'm doing my best. I'm cutting corners and everything, trying to trying to gain, gain some ground here. Oh god. It's such a sketchy car to drive. So sketchy. I think if I left it, I was like the 280 horsepower front. The 280 horsepower front wheel drive. I'm like so sketched out when I'm driving this thing right now. That's why I keep stopping my sentences. Because I feel like I'm about to go off the actual track. And just absolutely ruin the wall. Come on, I need to catch up. I think with my top speed I should be able to catch up a little bit. Oh, I should have braked earlier. Oh, maybe not. That's, that seems fine. Let's just shift early. It still doesn't matter with this car. Look, it just pulls me off. I'm braking and I'm trying to get myself back onto the track again. It just pulls me off as soon as I hit the, the grass. It's legit like oil. It just pulls you off. Just no grip whatsoever. Which makes sense, but I'm just saying. It's like, there's no chance of me. Oh my god. Alright, truck. I'm gonna need to somehow make it past you. Mini carousel coming up. Now we got a big long straight, so I'm gonna do this real quick. Try to throw myself in here. Oh, maybe not. Short shifting. There it is. There's the power. Come on. Slowly. Slowly. Now, foot down. Go. Go. Let's get this. 220 miles an hour. According to the actual stats sheet on this thing. Let's see. If this brick can actually reach 220 miles per hour. It looks promising. It looks very promising. I don't know how I'm gonna take this corner. Should I just lift? I'm not gonna lift. I'm not gonna lift, I'm not gonna lift, I'm not gonna lift, I'm not gonna lift, I'm not gonna break either. Oh I should have braked. Oh, maybe not. Oh that save! Oh, I just realized I set this thing to five laps as well. Well, I'm not gonna do five laps. I'm just gonna slow it down here. What a car! It's insane. <laughs> it's absolutely mental trying to drive this thing. It's all over the place. I can't dri drive it like this because I just feel like my reactions are gonna be off. Just having the whole car in front of me and being able to have have to like actually correct it because it slides wide all the time. Look, see, I, like, I can't. I can't correct it properly when I'm in this this perspective. It has to be, like, bumper viewer. Or, uh, wheel view, I guess, or cockpit view. It's... it's stupid. It's stupid how impressive this car actually is. With a thousand horsepower, it's... it's mad. Anyway, that was pretty much it. Really short little build just on the Honda Odyssey. I wanted to play with this car and I wanted to see what you could do to it. Ever since I saw its name on the actual car pack list, and now that the car pack is actually out, we have a chance to play with the car. Making this thing have a 1000 horsepower engine, and then turning it into an all-wheel drive is... is mental. I think as a rear-wheel drive, people are just gonna end up drifting this. They definitely will. 100%. If they... If people haven't actually made builds on this, like drift builds on this car yet, just give it like maybe another day. And there's gonna be so many of them all over the internet. Anyway, I, I love this guy.
I really do. But a V8 as well. It just sounds so wrong. It's so good. You're so high off the ground as well, like, I, I can definitely notice like a difference in height in this thing. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Look at Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, I haven't played Forza 7 in a while. No, I just randomly hopped on it and then we have this amazing car in it. It's great. Anyway, thank you again for watching. And I'll see you guys. See you guys next time. Let's end it off with a little bit of... A little bit of all-wheel drifting. A little bit of sliding around with this thing. 1,000 horsepower. 100 miles per hour drifting. A little bit off-roading. You get it. This is so sketchy to drive. There we go. Look at this. Actually, it doesn't even do it that that bad. That's like a little all drive drift drift car. All right, there we go. How hard it pulls out of the corner is mad, though. All right. Anyway, I'll stop here. I'm just probably gonna keep playing this with this car. In oh, okay, never mind. Spot it. I crashed it. That's a crash. Alright. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.